Today I will be showing you how to format slides in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. What I will cover is formatting sections, modifying themes, switching to a different slide layout, applying a fill color slide, picture slide, gradient slide, texture slide, and pattern to a slide. Also I will show you how to set up fi slide footers. First I will show you how to format sections. To format a section, you need to click on section in the home tab. This will separate different parts of the slideshow on the left side of your screen. So as I click on add section, you see that an untitled section appears here. Now I will show you how to modify themes by clicking on the design tab and choosing one of the 54 different themes. So the, the design tab is at the top of your screen. And these are the 54 different themes. You can cl click on this pull out box to show all 54 of them. Now we will be switching to a different slide layout. To do this, go to the Home tab and choose Layout. This will show different slides that you can use. You can then decide which layout, which slide layout you would like to use. So I will just choose blank. That did not work. Title only. And that will change it. But I do not want this, so I will delete it. The next subject will be all about slide backgrounds. The first slide background option is applying a slide with a fill color. First, right click on the background of the slide and choose format background. Then choose fill and then solid fill. And use any color you would like. So I'll just use this color. Another option is a gradient fill. Go to the same place as a solid color fill, but choose gradient fill and select a color and a path. Or you can select a preset color in here. But I already have mine set. The next option is a picture slot. First, you need a picture. So go on to Google Images or another search engine and search for a picture. I have already searched for a blue panda and selected it. Then I saved it onto my computer. Then go back to your PowerPoint and choose Format Background once again. Next, select a picture or text or texture fill and click on file. Go to my computer and find your picture, then select it. So now I have my background. Another option is a texture fill. Go to the same place as you want to change your background to a picture, but select one of the textures instead. The final slide background option is a pattern fill. In order to fill a background with a pattern, you choose pattern fill and select one of the pictures. The last thing you need to know in order to format a slide is to set up slide footers. To set up a slide footer, you need to go to the insert tab and type in something <laughs> and select header and footer. And then Click the box for footer and type something in. This concludes my, pres my presentation for formatting slides in PowerPoint 2010.